Okay, so basically in the last eight weeks of summer, we had to take a filmmaking class because our parents love us. And action. I'm rolling and action. Action! We had to make a movie about the Muslim experience in Brooklyn. Us, Miriam, Masara, Amir, and Maliha made a very exciting and cool film about our community and their different upbringings and lives. A few of the things we were curious about were their past, their family, the community they grew up in, and their present lives. This is called a film about us. We started by asking familiar faces around the mosque where they grew up and how their environment affected them. We thought it would be interesting to know their first memory because it can give us insight into their childhood. My name is Sekou Shakur. My very first memory um, is being a child um, had to be no more than maybe two and watching my parents in the kitchen. I don't know exactly what was going on, but I remember that. Uh, my name is Sheikh Abdul Rashid. I remember playing in the yard right here. The school was on um, Nostrand Avenue, right, right off the Kalb Avenue. And uh, I remember playing in the yard and I had an uh, airplane that you would wind up and you would, it was a rubber band at the end, you would wind it up and would just fly around. I remember uh, a bigger child took my airplane and broke it and I was very hurt. That was, I definitely remember that memory vividly and I had to be like in kindergarten. We also asked them what was the most important thing in their life when they were a kid versus now to see how their perspective of life have changed with age. The most important thing in my life when I was younger was trying to figure out how to be in this world. And as I got older, I figured it out. Every day I figured more stuff out. So I let it just let it flow and just say Bismillah most of the time. The most important thing in my life was the, um, the sense of community and family. Uh, early on, I, uh, my parents and my uncles and my aunts and, and my neighbors gave me a sense of community and importance of family. And I think that carried on until I got older and I have a better appreciation for that now. What event in your life shaped you the most? Wow, that's, that's a recent event then. The event in my life that has shaped me the most. Um, I would say my marriage has shaped me the most is um, as I'm 57 years old, you think that you've learned all you, 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 you've learned as much as you think you're going to learn is, um, all the important things. But I've learned that there's still some important things to learn. Um, my marriage has taught me to be patient, um, taught me that I still got some growing to do. So I think my marriage has, taught, has been the most significant thing. Next to Islam. How would you describe yourself when you were a child? I was very curious and precocious, and I learned that you can question everything. Question everything, but once you get the answer, you have to accept it. Rumbunctious, troublesome, shy, adventurous. What was about it? That's about it. I don't know. You know, my mother died when I was 10 years old. So. I remember having a very close relationship with my mom, and then after, after that, having a very close relationship with my father. So I guess as a, as a young, young child, I was probably a mama's boy, you know? But then my, when, when, when my mother passed away, um, my father took over, and you know? He was disciplined, you know? So it was like the tale of two ch childhoods. The early childhood, I guess you would say I was a mama's boy. And the second part, going into teenage and adulthood, being raised by my father, very strict discipline, order, law and order father. So I guess I was a mama's boy early and a, and a daddy's man later on. When you were younger, did you know about cinematography and were you interested in it? When I was younger, I did not know about cinematography. We were at a weird point where some Muslims were like, yes, take pictures, document. And then some Muslims was like, oh my God, don't take pictures. So it was one of those things where it depended on where we were, if we were allowed to take pictures, so. What was the best thing about your childhood? The best thing about my childhood was growing up with my brothers. Or my brothers and growing up in Brooklyn, just being around and doing different things in, in the city. 
When you were a child, did you ever think of religion? No. I'd, when I was a child, I, I didn't think of religion because I didn't see it as something that was a problem. Everyone around us, we were in a community, everyone was doing it, so it was that's what everyone was doing, and that's how I felt safe. And as I got older, I realized, oh, not everybody, but I felt bad for them because they didn't have the same community life that I had. Not so much, really. No, no, let me rephrase that. Not so much. As I got older, I thought about it. But I didn't think it was for me. It was not until I got to be an adult and started realizing I needed to grow up and mature and look at life and you know exactly, you know what does, what is this all about? And it's got to be something bigger than myself that I really started looking at religion and the importance of it. Now we know, and knowing is half the battle. <laughs>